so hello friends i am neeraj hope you are doing great so continuing our adding navigation to our mobile app so this is the thing which uh, we are going to work on so by the way so i have already created this so this is our home screen and the idea was when user clicks on this contact button so we will see the a contact screen with a back button so we when user clicks on it so he will land onto the previous screen so this is a thing which uh, we would be completing in today's session and in order to complete that so we have to do a little adjustment so here are the things which uh, so let me first try to uh, reset it what we were uh, having previously and uh, in the app.tsx file so let us try to see what uh, we have done so far and uh, let me also discard the changes okay so right now this is the plain one what uh, we were having previously so we'll be completing that in today's session okay so far so good so in order to if we land on the documentation so in order to use that in the previous session we have installed the required dependency that react native x stack and one more thing which uh, we will need to install for uh, our android application building so this is it if we go to the our stack navigator so here for uh, because we uh, we would be using uh, not expo rather we would be using our traditional uh, react native application so in order to use that so actually there are some other dependencies so which we need to complete so if we land on here so we need to install this package also so i have already done that on my uh, machine so if we click so you just simply need to just copy this out paste this out and hit enter so it will install these two dependencies and also we will also need to do one more changes cause there might be some uh, error in android building so cause i suffered with that so we also need to do one more change and that change is that uh, we need to you need to go to this file location at this file so that is uh, inside android app src main java and package and main activity dot java and we need to copy this text and we need to paste it in our main activity dot java file so by the way this is my uh, this is the path from my file so we just simply need to paste it this change one change and secondly second change we would need is that we need to import this statement okay and this should be the this is written here so we, this should be uh, below the package statement so just like below package statement so you just need to import this statement and just save it and the purpose of this file is complete so there is nothing to do with this one and uh, just simply go to your terminal and uh, kill the current instance and like this so kill the current instance and again we will start the our metro okay so that's it and now coming to the application side what change we will need to update cause see the tsx file in here we need to import two stuffs so let me copy this out from our uh this one from the documentation so we simply if we can go to this uh, this uh, 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 hello react navigation so we need to import this two stuff so i look i am going to explain you what it is so don't worry about that so actually here we we are saying that uh, you might recall that in react js also using react router dom so we wrap each and every every step with the with the, with the with the router object okay so like uh, so likewise here also like we are importing navigation container so all the screens 
wrapped inside this container so that container is having the all the routing information so we will import this navigation container from react navigation native and also once this we are having this container but we have to use it also so likewise so we will be going we will be coming here and we will wrap uh, and uh, wrap it uh, something like navigation container and we will wrap our each and every routes uh, or, or call it screens so inside this navigation container so right now we have the container and what this create native uh, we have also imported create native stack container because we are going to use a stack uh, a stack uh, a stack uh, uh, navigation so we have you we have uh, 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 we have imported this and this this is having a this uh, this is having a very nice one very nice uh, method actually so we can import we have to instantiate this uh, the, this create navigation stack navigator method so what it does is it provides uh, our uh, full fledged stack so all we have to do is uh, so we can push our screens into the stack so that uh, the uh, inner mechanism knows behind behind the scene that what that what a screen should uh, should uh, be uh, should uh, should appear uh, in what order okay and after this so we have the container so inside our container we will start with a stack so we are going to create a stack so it it is already here so we can uh, we can get the uh, reference from here so stack dot navigator so we will be using it stack dot navigator and uh, so inside the, this stack dot navigator so all it uh, we all we have to do is we have to simply pass the whatever the screens okay so like like uh, so stack is the outer object and the stack uh, and inside the stack we can uh, we, we, we uh, inside this stack object we can pass on the screens so like we will go with like a stack dot screen okay and uh, here uh, the screen in the uh, it is having a, a few proper a few props already available so it takes first uh, first it takes a name so we will name it the for example this is a home screen so we will name it home and we have to also specify what component so our component was for the for the home screen we are going to provide the home component okay so that's it and uh, similarly likewise we i will duplicate it out and, and similarly we are also going to have a contact screen so we will name it contact and inside the component we are going to have this contact component okay and uh, we will get rid of this one and one more change we need to do is cause this navigation container right now if we save this and if we try to runs to see it actually we are not getting our home screen and reason being is that uh, this navigation container uh, should be the top level uh, top level jsx uh, in the in the return statement and uh, so we need to get right of this and also this and uh, you can see like right now this is appearing so it uh, starts appearing but the problem here is there is no scroll view so unfortunately like the navigation container can on can only have the stack navigator and and this stack and if we specify it to our scroll view here so actually it won't work we will see we will get an error because saying that the navigator can only contain a screen a group or a react fragment and nothing a scroll view so we have to put the our uh, scroll view in our specific screens so we will just have it here cop copy and so we will go to our uh, home uh, uh, component and here we can uh, specify that okay so we are going to have this our scroll view so by the way i'll just copy it out from here so whatever the css we were having previously 
so we were having this so a scroll view and this like this okay so i'll close this out so we'll go with the scroll view and uh, so let me also import it why it, why it uh, didn't got auto imported okay now it got auto imported and uh, we'll close this one so okay scroll view has been closed and now once we save it so we are having a nice uh, scroll view and likewise and right now i mean this thing is working so we are having our uh, home screen visible but we have to make it uh, a clickable one also like to contact us so it is very simple actually so in uh, in however but every i mean the the, uh, the button is having we can, we have already seen that button is having a on press event so that on press event we can also apply upon text as well so we will go right uh, on press and in uh, within uh, this on press event we have to specify something so by the way like navigator returns a uh, uh, returns a prop by default and which we sh we can destructure it here and let's say navigation so right now using this navigation let me write it correctly so using this navigation we can uh, we we can have we will have the functionality to navigate between screens so here we can specify we will go with the arrow function and here inside this arrow function we will say we can say navigation dot and there is a method called navigate and inside navigate we have to specify only the component name okay and not component name so rather this screen we have uh, we have provided the name to this screen so all we have to specify the name of the screen so like like this so we have already provided the name of this screen and the moment if we save it and uh, let me also reload it hard reload it so okay so let us see so now if we click on this contact so we should land on our contact screen so let us see that so when we click on it so okay it is working fine but again we have to do the same stuff with uh, cause the uh, background i mean the whole background view so we can really adjust that so definitely one give me one moment and uh, if in order to save the time so all we can do we can do is we can copy this from our home component and uh, we will wrap this whole view inside this uh, scroll view like this like this and we will yes now my lint my es7 extension will auto import it okay fine so it has been auto imported so when we click on contact button so we are having a very nicely cr created screens so and uh, by the way like whenever uh, we land on the different uh, screen from the home screen so we will have this back button automatically appear so rekinetic will provide this to us so when we click on it so we will go, go we can go back to the previous screen and by the way we can also control the ordering so in what order so if we for example say if we put the home screen at the top or on top of this uh, this home screen so right now our contact is at the top, is the is the first screen and second is the home and if we reload it so we are having our contact as a, as our home screen okay so this is so there are other stuffs as well so there are lots of other there are a few other props we can pass our custom props as well so let us go with the default one cause home screen should be our the landing screen okay so i think like uh, this is working fine and uh, we will also also uh, uh, create the this about a screen as well and uh, so this is what this thing is working fine so i think let us wind this session and uh, uh, and uh, if you have any query so please do let me know and uh, i hope you enjoyed the session so i'll see you in the next session so till then take care and happy coding
and by the way i'll uh, so all of this code is still uh, 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 that would be available on github so i'll provide the link in the github so you can check you can check in the in the video description so you will you'll, you can, you will uh, get the code from my github account for your reference okay so take care and happy coding